I don't know why it's not showing anymore. Anyway, uh, this is 1.12.2. Just because that was, I think, the latest Jurassic Craft um, update. So, I just went with it. Ooh. Whatever that biome is, I like it. It reminds me of fall. That's sexy. Um, but yeah. I just figured I'd go with everything as 1.12.2 just because that's when Jurassic Craft has last been updated. Um, I think it changed hands at one point as well, but I really don't know. Um, I know that Pam's Harvest Craft 2 is now like baseline shit, but then also has um, a bunch of separate shit like trees, plants, like it's all separate mods that you have to add in. Um, okay, so right off the bat... We're probably going to live pretty close by. Um, I don't know if we're going to stay there indefinitely. But because I have a tendency to pick up all this shit, the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, as I go, and I like really can't help myself, <laughs> we're going to live close to home um, just so I can throw all this stuff in a chest as soon as possible. So let's do that, actually. Let's... Uh, I kind of don't want to chop down these spruce trees but i mean i guess there's a fair amount around here so it's fine let's choppy chop this one we have the slime boots in this right slime or the slime sling uh, da, 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 da. I didn't realize there's slime weapons. That's cool. Yes, the slime slings. I want to get... I think it's this one, maybe, of these. Um, That lets you, like, fling yourself up in the fucking air. I love everything about that recipe. Doesn't say. I'm assuming it's this one, though, because this is the sky slimes. Slowness and jump boost. Yeah, so I think that's... I want to get that one just so we can move around quicker. Let's you jump really high. Does it matter which ones we get? Oh, okay. So probably not those ones, because... Bad luck. <laughs> Alright, let's get this shit going. I might start off with the typical tools until we get to, like, iron. I don't know. Let's see. I know. See, this is where it pays it pays off that I was doing this shit off to the side. So that's the part builder. We need one like so. And then we need let's see, stone cell table part builder. I think this is all we need for now. Wait. No, it's not. <laughs> I lied to everyone's face. I'm so sorry. We have part builder tool forge. Is that what we're looking for? Tool station? Oh, shit. My love set me down last night and he told me that it's over. Done decision. Okay, I, I, I felt like one of them was a crafting table thing, but... I hear six inch... That's what I was confusing it with. I was confusing it with the crafting table. Just like straight up crafting table in there. Because I knew. I knew in my heart of hearts. So let's see what we need. I know I need more... I know I need more stencils. So let's get some of those going. And then, what stencils do we need for a hatchet? Tool rod, axe head, binding. Okay. Is that axe head? That's broad axe head. Oh, there we go. Axe head. Tool rod. Tool rod. And then binding, which is this little guy. Yeah, okay, okay. 
so oh, wait oh did i not get it whoops binding hot broke bitch high heels six inch in the back of the nightclub sipping champagne ecological <laughs> all right let's get the binding we'll switch over to like stone once we are able to this is yeah this is two okay sorry trees you're gonna have to succumb let's get this one this one's tiny you know what i want to play There we go. We're gonna play some lo-fi, because we can. I also need to make my bed still. Let's do that before I run out of wood. I'm gonna aim for the cyan bed, because... I don't know. I aim to... <laughs> I aim to copy Chise, apparently. Um... At some point, I saw that she liked cyan beds, and I, before that, hadn't really had, like, an appreciation for them. And then I don't know where I was like, Zooey Mama, that's a hot-ass looking bed. <laughs> so, here we are. There we go. All right. We got that. And we also need the pickaxe. There we go. I knew it was a lot of the same shit. Um, let's get some more wood. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I love everything about that, bro. Are you kidding me? What if I do that? There we go. And then we need another binding. And another tool rod. I'm going to confuse the tool rods with sticks at some point. They look virtually identical other than... The, like, shading. The shading is the only thing that's different, really. Okay. I literally have these in order, too, and I'm fucking it up for myself. Throw that shit in there. Bada bing, bada boom, baby! Cool. So, we're gonna take all this. We're gonna head over to that, like, fall-looking area over here. Perfect timing, too. Becoming September, which is, like, the beginning of fall. Amazing. I'll probably come back here and get these little cloves, too. What are these? Cloves? Yeah, clovers. I'm probably gonna come back and get some of those, because I think they're the cutest fucking shit ever. Um, I kind of want to be in here, you know? Like, I don't want to be on the edge of it, even though I do kind of like this spot. Begins to write a story with an end that bends. <gasps> so cute. I know, yeah, this is maple wood. I was messing with this. Um, you can't harvest it for, like, wood wood, which sucks, I don't think. But you, you get, I think you have to break it to get maple syrup i think <laughs> i really don't know i think it's cool if that's the case either way really okay so this is the edge of that dark dark oak wood i can do some texture hell yeah okay we have a cave i gotta remember that because we're gonna need to go caving a lot in the near future for shit. I'm trying to find a good spot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, there's like a legit dark oak forest right next to us, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got ocean over here. Oh, I was like, why is it playing this? This is not lo-fi my cue whoops
There we go. Mofi beats. My apologies. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know. You know what? Here, 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 here. Perfect. We'll throw ourselves right down here. I just, I don't know. I like to have my back to like the ocean or some shit. It's fucking weird. I don't know. All right. Let's hit the hay so that we can start leveling the area, getting a house set up of some sort, even if it's like a fucking shack, you know? I'm going to put this stuff off to the side because I know I'm going to get rid of this this layer of dirt at the very least. Is that a cave? <gasps> it is. I hope it's not like a deep ass cave because I don't know how low I'm making this. I also kind of want to make a basement or oh, hiccup a basement at some point. Uh, Okay, we'll put our shit over here for now. So it's very much out of the way. Yeah, I think I put those in order. Put the bed there. We need a chest for fucking sure. I'm going to have to go back and get the... uh whatchamacallit get the spruce because i fucking i'm definitely gonna use it that's for sure i'm gonna use birch for crafting just because i dislike birch as far as building goes oh, i was re-watching a movie the other day and it's you'll you'll if you've watched this movie you'll know what i'm talking about it's this movie where this town is like like Salem witch trials type shit, right? They're um they're like around that time period as far as like clothes and everything, you know, like pilgrim type clothes. And uh they are completely closed off by this forest. Like this town is just this town and this town only. Um, I don't know what I was about to do there, but anyway. Yeah, this town is, like, this town only because they have, um, this forest all around them. And in the forest are these creatures that apparently don't like the color red, I think. So, if you wear red or if there's, like, red flowers or something, they go after them, I think. And I think you're safe if you're wearing yellow i'm pretty sure i don't i don't remember um yellow oh my gosh this is like a little autumn biome i love it anyway um yeah they are chill with you if you're wearing a certain color dislike you if you're wearing another color and they come at night i think or at least they start to in the movie um and are all like you know pissed that shit's going down or whatever um, I wish that was called a spade. I don't know. I don't know why I want that to be a thing, but I do. Um, but yeah, I was re-watching it, and they're surrounded by birch trees, specifically. And I was, I was able to- stupid Minecraft shit. I was able to be like, oh my gosh, I know what wood that is. <laughs> I know those trees. Which I guess is some level of- uh, exciting thing because like you know learning uh, what types of trees are which are pretty cool but like I don't know I felt so dumb but also like so smart <laughs> all right, let's get rid of all this dirt level this shit out that way once we have at least a little bit of a house set up we can go mining and mainly the reason I want to go mining right away is because of the dinosaur shit like we have to get i i learned how to get the dinosaur fossils so we can get the fossils um we can get aphids in amber and mosquitoes in amber and when we go mining we can get the shit to start making all of the tech for the dinosaur stuff um like dna sequencers dna analyzers whatever the fuck fossil grinders i think they're called um just yeah all that stuff that is muy importante if we want to have our own little dinosaur farm which i kind of well not farm i'm not gonna eat them but <laughs> our own little dinosaur zoo i want to have them in, in their own little paddocks i want to be essentially jurassic park if if hammond knew what he was doing <laughs> 
You know, I wanna I wanna be the better version of Hammond. I suppose. Okay. We are going to level as much of this area as we can. Because we're gonna have the house and then we're also gonna have at least one greenhouse. So I'm kind of thinking, I want to, part of me wants to do like a several layer or like a, just a big ass greenhouse for all the different seasons, but also part of me wants to do the probably smarter thing <laughs> and throw all of my shit into one greenhouse and can I fix this in here? Mm, oh, wait. No, I can't. Okay. Pretty sure there is a fixing thing. Um, but the probably smarter thing to do would be to cycle through the crops. So spring in there, or like, yeah, spring in there when it's spring, fall in there when it's fall. But also that like, kind of defeats the purpose of, is that? Yeah, I figured Kind of de defeats the purpose of the whole greenhouse thing, but I don't know. I don't fucking know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So we need... I'll take all of this. I'm going to make the pattern chest. So I can have my patterns separate from... Everything else so that they're not cluttering up the place. There we go. What was what? Persimmon? Ooh. What is a persimmon? I, I've heard the name before, but I don't know what that is. Like as far as fruits go, what is it like, you know? Okay, now we need. <laughs> We have the stencil table. Am I just- was I just putting it in the wrong one? Oh, I think I was. Wait. Yeah, there we go. I made it that- I thought that was a penis for a moment. Mubby. <laughs> Lips. <laughs> yeah, I want to try to get a greenhouse going as soon as possible just because I know the seasons are really going to start turning at some point and that's going to be snowy outside and we're going to be fucked. I think the last time I fucked around with Serene Seasons before this- <laughs> Hey, eight. I think the last time I fucked around with Serene Seasons before this was when I had the All the Mods 8, I think it was, server going. And Finn, 8, and I all lived on an island in the sky that tended to have big-ass whales that would just swim up the waterfall coming from it and then fall to their deaths. Or, like, suffocate in the lower blocks of the island. And it was a little bit hard to figure out if it was winter or not up there because it was almost always cold. Like, water frozen, that type of shit. But, good shit. <laughs> why- I don't think I've even ever asked. Why- why do you have a crab? <laughs> like, why is- why is that your thing? Maybe if I love people, I'll start my modded server. Probably not. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I started the single player- or not the single player, the vanilla survival server. And I've only been on it a couple of times, but not since it was released to the public. Hey, Elisa, how's it going? I have to go mining. I need this food to be cooked. I'm not meant for this hard labor without some tasty treats. What can you do? I don't think I ever looked. What can you do with crickets? Bug farming crate? Okay. So you put 
one cricket in the crate with food and it makes more crickets. But what's the point of the crickets? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Once I get, I think, maybe just this layer done, we'll go mining so that I can start cooking my food, start us on the way toward dinosaurs, all that shit. I know there is one issue that we'll probably run into pretty quickly, um, and it was the same issue I was running into when I was playing this single player um, off stream. You need these discs, these storage discs, to be able to like store DNA of things from the Jurassic Craft mod. Um, like you can only get to a certain point before you need to get the DNA on these storage discs um, for anything, for plants or dinosaurs. Um, but I think you can't make the storage discs. I think you have to find them in villages. Because, excuse me, there's, um, there's dig sites. There's dig sites that you can find. Um, no. Anyway, there's dig sites that you can find that'll have a bunch of, um, fossils and typically some like chests or at least a chest i think all right let's go hit the hay so many crickets i'll have to look that up see what the crickets are used for because i do not know they've got to be useful for some thing right It's definitely going to be a long time before we get to the actual dinosaurs, I think. Because we need to do, like, runs through, like, all these different machines just to get viable DNA. Um, we have to cover the fossils and bandages. Like, plaster and bandages. I think it's to keep them intact, maybe? I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. And then we mine the fossils... And then we put them through the fossil grinder, I think. And then you have to put it through, like, all these different machines to be able to get DNA. And then, again, you have to put the DNA on the storage disk. And eventually you get, like, a vial of DNA. So, that's at least as far as I know. I don't know past the vial. <laughs> you know what? We have a little cave right here. We're going to mine just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's I don't know how strictly based off of it it is, but it um at least at the beginning was based off of uh Jurassic Park. So it's got all the dinosaurs that you know from the movie, it's got all the ones that you don't know from the movies. Um Let me show you some of the shit from this. It's got like yeah, see. Um you can find all these different fossils and you can make like display fossils i don't know how big they are or if they're if they're like to size but you can make fossils that you can put up kind of like if you were in a museum uh you can make yeah these different amber things if you find um there's either an aphid in amber or a mosquito in amber which are used for two different things because mosquito blood aphid would be like plants um if you find amber you can use these you can make them into keychains you can make it into the like um the cane that mr hammond has in jurassic park one that i think you see again in later movies i think um i'm a little bit of a jurassic park nerd i fucking love jurassic park i love the movies uh here it is the amber cane that he has um these are like actual bones holy shit <laughs> that mad literally oh yeah see attraction signs like you can make your own park um oh okay i kept seeing this earlier i don't know why it's doing that i think this is because it's still not up to date yet so it's got some bugs there's the fossil grinder find that i wonder what that does Ooh, that's cool 
So if you've seen the first movie, you know that they go in those little like jeeps and then you they drive and there's like a whole point where the the guy that's representing all of the people funding the park is like, what, so we have to drive these vehicles or something along those lines? And Dr. Hammond or Mr. Hammond goes, no, they're on a track and he shows it. So this must be, you can literally have tours just like from the first movie in vehicles on these set tracks that is so sick oh i was like why does that say the name of a dinosaur it doesn't it's the name of one of the trees that's the cool thing too i think it used to just be dinosaurs um because i've been into this mod since around the time it first came out and it used to be just the dinosaurs like you'd have food for specific dinosaurs but like for the most part it was literally just the dinosaurs and the dinosaurs were really easy to get you could get them within the first like three days of playing minecraft if you're not going crazy hardcore right now i want the lunchbox <laughs> now you can even bring back plants from the prehistoric period from like Cretaceous and all that shit. Like, oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's so awesome. I love how they've developed it. I love seeing mods develop more and more over the years and become insane. I haven't watched Jurassic Park in in ages. I need to rewatch it. I rewatched them, I think, a couple weeks ago. And it's because <laughs> of when they came out, you know, the 90s. It's really funny to see the acting. Especially in the first movie, because the acting in the, like, I'm a media studies major, which is essentially a film major, but with, like, some add-ons. Like, we learn literally how to study media um, and its effects. But because it's, like, low-key a film major, we learn about, like, angles and things like that for cameras. And <laughs> there are scenes... Um, there are scenes in at least the first movie where it'll be like a dramatic turn or whatever and the camera will be zoomed in on their face like crazy fucking close and then they'll just do some shit like <gasps> like a dramatic gasp or like even just looking at the camera for a second like i'm pretty sure there's at least one scene in the first or the second movies where it's literally just a dramatic ass like look at the camera moment with a super zoom in on their face it's hilarious i love it like it's so fucking cheesy all right let's get new shit we're gonna need three of these we need three tool rods and then we need an axe head. I'm going to upgrade all my shit. So bada bing bada boom. There we go. And then we can cook our food. Sharpie. Ooh, ah, ah. Get that up there. But yeah, sorry for the geek out moment. <laughs> That's like one of the movies that I absolutely adore. Honestly, like the entire series. I'm still... To this day, I'm still iffy on Jurassic World. I like it, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't hit the same. For whatever reason. There we go. Alright, let's get that shit out of here. We're gonna keep it. So if I just want to use something quick, I'll use that. But yeah, apologies. <laughs> I'm definitely getting the amber cane. Or maybe the keychain. I want to get one of the amber items i'm only going to do that once we get to the point of having um actual dinosaurs because until then amber is going to be pretty important to have i don't know how that works though like i don't know how much we're gonna like how rare it is how much we're gonna need so i don't want to waste any of it Can I just throw this in my inventory with some cobble? Or maybe I'll just make a couple of these because they're fairly easy to make. Let's see. Can I... 
Nope. That's what I get for trying to go the quick route. It is what it is. <gasps> the apples! Are they done? Oh! They're not done. They're pretty, though. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it was the song! I thought it was some sort of bug making noises in my ear. That was terrifying. I disliked that immensely. Can I use these for anything? Shroom powder? What do you use shroom powder for? Oh wait, St structural duct. Which makes toadstool covers. What do you use toadstool covers for? And then this... Make more toadstools. Okay. Interesting. I don't understand the purpose, because I don't understand why you need toadstools, but who knows? Certainly not me. <laughs> oh, you know what? Here. I'll fix both of these so I can switch back and forth. Here, take this. Give me a piece of fucking wood. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Elisa. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the crew. Alright, uh... Toss that in the chest. Let's see how much we can cook with just the wood. I really need to get that, like... I need to get the food growing. So that we can start making some shit. Ooh, we can make tea! This game is really gonna show how much I don't eat. I'm ex for those that don't know, I'm an extremely picky person as far as food goes, not by choice, by the way. I will try any food at least once, but just majority of the time I dislike it. Couldn't tell you why. Um, so I don't eat very many foods. I like I liken it to children, like toddlers, you know? Um, I'm gonna be eating a lot of foods in this game <laughs> that I don't normally eat. So, this will be interesting. Mainly because I'm going to feel kind of weird about it. Like an imposter, you know? Alright, let's hit the hay since it's a little past 11. Woo! Oh. I'm going to keep replanting these for now just so I'm not deforesting the area and then fucking myself over when I need wood, you know? Not that I should need birch at any point specifically, because I don't build with it. Um, but I don't want to be out of it if I need it for something, you know? This has better durability than the stone one. wonder how that works. Cheap cheapskate ecological. I wonder... Are the normal... like, tiers not a thing with... with this? Like, does Tinker's Contract not have the same tiers? I mean, I know they don't to an extent, because they've got all the different materials um, that you can use. I'm trying to remember what they are. I think, like, like, you can use Obsidian and shit, but... I'll have to look at their tier system. See what it's like. Uh, I really don't want to chop these down before they produce. I'm going to leave these as long as I can, so I can at least get enough avocados and apples to make new trees without having to go forever away. This gives cobwebs, right? That's cool. It's like a silk tree. That's sick. I like that. 
I like it. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a chance for a teensy tiny spider to come out, you know? That'd be cool. What I'll probably do, I was just thinking about, like, our area. I'm probably going to go fishing at some point. Because I feel like that's a really good way to get food where we are. Because, you know, the water's right there. And then we've got the spider web tree over here. So we have easy access to string to be able to make the fucking thing. What is it called? Fishing rod. Don't ask me why I was blanking on that. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. I, it's not my turn with the brain cell today, unfortunately. Which is a little funny, considering I've been using big words today. Don't know where they're coming from. But I've been using them. I was... I was filling out a job application or something, and I was like, obviously you should put your best foot forward in job applications and, like, make yourself sound better than you potentially are. But, like, I was using big word after big word. I'm like, holy shit. And then I, right afterward, was messaging someone, I think, and I used a big word. And I was, like, making my own jaw drop. <laughs> if you hear noises in the background, by the way, if you didn't see her, I have a dog in here. Oh, my God. She's a very old dog. <laughs> and is kind of fucking dumb. Oh my god. I always leave my door open a crack. Um, I purposefully cut it out of my webcam when I can because it is kind of creepy for people to, you know, have just a dark hallway behind my door. Um, but I leave it open a nudge so that she can leave when she wants to. But she's stupid and she'll headbutt the door closed and then she can't open it. Um, she must have done that because it's closed more than I left it. And she was just standing there with her head slightly turned. Like, so lost. <laughs> I don't think it's her turn with the with the brain cell either this week. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> my dog does that too. Dogs are fucking ridiculous. Now, I will say I'm not a dog person. That doesn't mean I don't love dogs. I fucking love dogs. But, like, the typical cat leaves you alone and then comes to you when they want attention, which is more my vibe. Like, I don't want an animal that's almost always up in my business wanting attention. Like, my cat gets in moods where he's extremely affectionate for a day, but nothing like a dog, right? <laughs> but dogs, some, I will say... The thing that endears me to dogs and makes it so that the difference between me being a cat person and being a dog person is very slim is that dogs so often are just no think. <laughs> no think, only do. <laughs> They're just utter goofballs in the best of ways and I can't get over it. I was talking with my best friend um, and I was like... I, I tweeted about this at some point. It was a while back. Um, but I was like, I would love to have a small dog. Because small dogs, I feel even more, specifically like certain breeds, can be very silly goofy. Um, like Italian greyhounds, I feel like just by nature are some of the silliest little fuckheads ever. And I was like, I could really go for a small dog. Like I could, I would love to have an Italian greyhound, a dachshund, a chihuahua, and she... <laughs> And, like, I don't remember if anyone else responded to the tweet, um, but <laughs> thank you, Brett Bray Demon. How you doing? Um, but my, my best friend, <laughs> my best friend was like, thank you for the redeem, by the way. Um, listen, I'm going to stop you right there. All right. I love dogs, but if you get a chihuahua. You keep that rat away from me. <laughs> and I was like, what? Because this is like the most dog person to ever dog. Like the second they see a dog, 
they're almost immediately like, oh, hello, baby, how are you? Like, attached to the dog at the hip. Um, So I was surprised. And they're like, I hate, I hate chihuahuas. I'm like, listen, I'm going to get a chihuahua. And while typically they are little assholes, right, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to train this dog to be one of the best dogs you've ever met. Exactly, exactly. I think that's part of why I want a Chihuahua is because they're known for being aggressive little shits. I want to get a Chihuahua purely so I can be that one person with like a great trained Chihuahua, you know, a Chihuahua that listens to commands, that doesn't bark um, needlessly. Like I'd like for the dog to be able to tell me, you know, there's an intruder, but I don't want the dog barking at the mailman or barking at a child walking by, <laughs> you know. Which one of my dogs does. Not the one in here. There's one downstairs. She is all bark and no bite, by the way. She is a big dog. Pit mix. But she is one of those dogs that will bark and then hide behind their owner. <laughs> she will bark at babies in strollers. <laughs> she barks at old people. She barks at other dogs. Just like, hey, get away. <laughs> but she won't do shit. But every time we let her outside to go to the bathroom, I have to be like, all right, listen to me. You're not going to bark at children. You're not gonna, you're not going to bark at the old man down the street. All right. And you're not going to lollygag because for her lollygagging means that she stands out there sniffing the wind and essentially waits for someone to walk by so she can bark at them. <laughs> but I want to I want to be able to like have a chihuahua and have people be like, oh, my gosh, it's a chihuahua. And then the dog be like the most perfect little angel. I just, I, I just also like the idea of having any small dog because I want to be that person that has their small dog in a bag with them at all times, you know, and have them actually trained, by the way, so that they're not a little dickhead while they're in stores. Um, if they're allowed, I'm not going to ruin it for anyone else, but like, I want to have a dog with like clothes on for at least their birthday you know like a jenna marbles type thing where i'm like happy birthday we're gonna get you like eight new shirts you know we're gonna get you a little hat dress them up for halloween shit like that like you can do that with big dogs but at least typically a lot of big dogs aren't into it like brandy's not into it this dog isn't into it one downstairs loves t-shirts don't know why loves t-shirts my brother who is uh 19 he has put one of his muscle shirts on her, um, or not muscle shirts, but put a wife beater on her, and she loved it. Like, she curled up and was passed out in seconds. Just something about it made her so fucking calm, which was wild. And she didn't, like, try to take it off or anything. She just sat there. She doesn't like hats. I will say she doesn't like hats. But she does pretty good with a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> and she, uh, we've gotten them both bandanas. And they love their bandanas. Although Piper, the one downstairs, is typically the one that fucks up the bandana somehow. Like, she'll kick it off by accident or it'll be all askew and, like, wrapped around her neck all funky. We can't trust her with bandanas. <laughs> Something about them. Oh my god. She scared the shit out of me. She's directly next to my feet so she's like out of my immediate line of sight because you know like it typically goes Weep. so i couldn't see her so i'm like where is she i don't hear her she seems comfy <laughs> she's also a black dog she's a mix with a black lab uh she's a black lab and a whippet whippets um a lot of people don't know what whippets are so just like disclaimer whippets are very similar to Italian greyhounds, very long, skinny dogs. I think they're also used like greyhounds for um, races. And so she's got like a little bit of the lanky body and she's shorter than a lab, but she's got the coat coloring of a black lab for sure. She looks so much like a black lab I had as a kid. Can you grow faster, please? <gasps> Thank you. I'm sorry for being rude. I appreciate everything you do for me. Mwah. All right. I feel like we've cleared out a good amount of space. We're going to make a little hut over here just to start us off. We'll build around the hut 
make it bigger, make it better once we have more materials as well as just are at a better standing, you know? We're not doing great on food. Our tools keep breaking. <laughs> We're not doing hot. We're not doing too great. But that is a-okay. Let's do... I'm going to piss some people off and make a dirt hut. Because I can. And it's easier to break down, so... Break it down. Let's... One, two, three, four, five. Do it, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't count. I was talking with a bunch of my friends. I think during Uno, we had a night where we played Uno together. Um, the VOD is up if anyone wants to check it out for whatever reason. Um, I think I cut it out. But if it's still there, I wouldn't recommend watching like the last couple of games because we were all extremely sleep deprived and quiet. Um, <laughs> but we were playing Uno and at some point we talked about how the majority of us just can't do basic math. Like we have to count our we have to count our fingers. <laughs> Which I was. I was counting my fingers earlier today for something. I think I was counting my fingers for, like, money or something. Trying to figure out how much I needed, how much I was going to need. Something like that. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I really did not excel past, past kindergarten, did I? <laughs> Absolutely. Dirt hut. Dirt hut supremacy, honestly. Like, while I would not live in a dirt hut for forever, because to me a dirt hut is tiny and also it doesn't feel very defensible for me. I like that you can just tear it down real easy and move, you know? If I decide I don't like this place, I can just get the bug out. You know what I mean? Boom! We have a house. With... One window. We're going to make a couple more windows. Even though it's a dirt, dirt hut, I want it to be lovely. I want to feel at home in the dirt, you know? Let's move all this shit inside. Ooh, that's nice that the patterns stay in there. That is sexy as fuck. Tinker's Construct developers, mwah, love you. Okay, keep that over there. I think I'll put my crafting table over there. Bring the bed in here. I'm not going to keep it a white bed, don't we worry. I'm going for cyan, I'm hoping. I really like the cyan bed. What? Oh, I ate my food. I was like, where the fuck did my meat go? It's in my gob. There. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Uh, we'll put the bed here, just so we can have ample space for chests, because I know I'm going to need a lot of them. I was saying earlier, every time we see these little plants, where are they? I saw some over here. Every time we see these little guys, I'm more than likely going to get, actually, there's a lot of them. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm more than likely going to get the shit from it, because I really want to make like an awesome greenhouse and just have all the food at my disposal so i need at least a couple chests for the pam's harvest craft food alone <laughs> at the very least give me that string all right i have to chop that those two trees down too because currently they're just propped up on pieces of dirt let's go get our chest and move in Oh, chest, 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 chest. That's moss. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Duly noted. If the apple is shiny, it is harvestable. I almost said it is eatable. That's not right. <laughs> That's not correct. Okay, we're going to organize just a little bit. I'm going to put all of our wood shit in here. And then... Anything that isn't Pam's Harvest Craft, I guess. Beautiful. That's almost 
that's like a little over half of a chest in my inventory right now of just pams pam you need you and i need to have words we need to discuss how addictive it is getting all your shit i don't know how i feel about this i think you've done this to me and me alone and i'd like you to not <laughs> oh shit i forgot about this Woohoo! whoopsies wait oh my gosh i almost lost my 51 crickets <laughs> how dare i i want to make a cricket army i want to you know you know how some people will do like slime armies or dog armies or whatever She's slowly getting the door open, but knocking everything off of my bedside table in the process. You're so close. She's given up. <laughs> That's all it took. Oh! She's free. <laughs> but yeah, you know how some people have, like, different animals trailing behind them? I want a bunch of crickets. I want a bunch of little crickets jumping behind me. I don't know what the crickets are for. You know what? We're gonna answer that question right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Cricket Jurassic Craft. Because I know if you put them in the bug bin, I think it was, with some sort of food, it um, it duplicates them. But I don't know what you actually use the crickets for. Oh, I whoa. Okay, I knew there were cockroaches as well. I didn't know there were mealworm beetles. The more you know. Do you do anything with them? It just says how you can obtain them. And then you... Oh, bug farming crate is what you multiply them with. Oh. I didn't know that those existed. Oh, wait. No, I did. I did. I'm sorry. Let's, let's walk you through what I just went through. <laughs> so... Jurassic Craft introduces special bug items that can be fed to insect insectivorous animals, such as the Microraptor, so they eat insects. And at first I was like, I didn't know that there were insectivorous animals, but I did know that because anteater and other ant and insect-eating bugs that I can't remember right now. But that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Jurassic Craft. I get it. All right. So we need them. I want to see what the micro raptor looks like. I know a lot of things in the raptor family are, I think, incorrect at least. I know that the, uh, it's kind of funny. I know that the velociraptors in Jurassic Park are not actually velociraptors. Um, there's some other type of raptor, I think, because velociraptors were actually pretty small, I'm pretty sure. Which I think is really funny because velociraptors are like the animal or the like big bad of both Jurassic Park 1 and Jurassic Park 3. Like both movies have this creature. Sorry. I didn't get it. It was like one of those teensy teensy tiny little bugs. Um, but like in both Jurassic Park 1. Oh my god there it is. It's so fast. I don't think I got it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I hope that didn't bother you guys. I'm I sorry. I'm I sorry. <laughs> but yeah, in Jurassic Park one and three, there are packs. I don't know if they're called packs. Packs of raptors, velociraptors that go after the characters in the movies. But I don't think they're actually velociraptors. I think there's some other type of raptor. No wonder they're called micro-raptors. This thing is literally smaller than a chicken. It's like the size of a baby chicken. Are you kidding me? Let me show you th this. So you guys don't have to wait until we get to this point in the game. Because it's not going to be in this stream. I'm telling you that right now. Oh. <laughs> what? They're so tiny. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust the window capture. So bear with me. Oh, never mind. It's practically perfect. Look at that. Look at that thing. That is so... That is so small. Look at it. Little guy. Oh my goodness. I love him. Oh, I keep getting hiccups. 
I love everything about you and I want you immediately. I'm going to feed you all my crickets that are not a part of my cricket army. You know what? I'll sacrifice the cricket. I'm going to just put it here. <laughs> Imagine I put it there for the rest of the stream. But yeah, I'm going to sacrifice my cricket army in the name of a micro raptor because I can. They fly? They have wings. Oh my god, they have wings. <laughs> Literally, that's what I'm wondering. I know you can essentially tame all of the dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure. I don't think even the car-, car Unless they changed it. Uh, I don't think even the carnivorous dinosaurs will hurt you. But they might. They might have changed that. It says Microraptors are, like carnivorous as well as insectivorous so they'll eat rabbits they'll probably eat a chicken rabbits are among the largest prey micro raptors will hunt that is the biggest thing that they will eat that is wild oh that's so cool i didn't even realize the definitely check out the jurassic craft mod wiki by the way because not only do they tell you about, like, the Microraptors in-game, but they even have real-world information. That's sick. That's cool. I like that. Okay, anyway. We now we now know. The more you know. Um. Oh, it's dark. Oh, shit, it's dark. Uh. I'm gonna make... No, 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 no. Well, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what door I wanted to make. Let's get back to the game so we don't die. I need to go mining ASAP. ASAP Rocky so I can get coal. Because my house is very dark right now. I mean, I could... I could... Like, cook some of that to make some coal, but... I don't know. Alright. Let's go mining... With our shit. And see if there's anything in here. Because we didn't go very deep. We only went deep enough to get some of that. Is there anything even down here? Oh. Well, that's what I get for saying. Is there anything even down here? Might be. Is there, is there actually anything? There is coal. I will take it. I'm going to assume all the stone stuff is kind of dookie as far as things go. So I'm going to stay away. Because the stone, the stone stuff is kind of dookie as far as, like, whatchamacallit, how long it lasts. There's a word. I'm forgetting it. Um, I'm going to stay away from it for now and save it for only when I find, like, iron ore and things like that. Do I still have- no. I don't have sticks on me. I was hoping I could place down a stick. Or a torch. <laughs> I'm not seeing any plant fossils in this vein. Usually there's like a chance of getting a plant fossil from these veins. Or not even strictly plant fossils, but like you can get other stuff that you can- turn into later on like physical plants um can i make that no i cannot i forgot i had no sprint whoopsies yeah usually there's like a block or two among the coal that you can mine and get possibly a plant fossil or you can get twigs and maybe a couple other things that i think you can turn into physical plants all right, let's make torches. I'm going to lay these around. And then we will be good. We will not die, hopefully. I just want to light this place up just a little bit so that my home is not in danger, you know? Because we're kind of suffering for food, I'm going to go... Oh, I should have done that. I was saving that so I could chop down the apple tree. It's okay. There's three apples going on. I'm going to put that away. We're going to go fishing since our food is 
Very low. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. There we are. We should get different kinds of fish than usual, too, because of Pam's. We'll see how this goes. Give me fish. Give me fish. I almost added aquaculture, too, which adds specifically fish and, like, fishing and all that shit, like a bunch of fishing stuff. Um, but then I decided against it because I didn't want there to be any clashing, any overlaps by any chance. Ooh, raw tuna. I like tuna. Sorry, my phone was vibrating. I'm just making sure it wasn't anything important. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm always very worried that if I ignore my phone one time, it'll be something important. Like, oh my gosh, your grandma died, you know? Raw trout. That looks like rainbow trout. That's cool as shit. Hey, Nancy Ella, welcome in. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? This is cool. What can I use these for? I'm going to have to look up recipes. Can you make a tuna sandwich? That'd be cool. What's that? Lost tablet. This tablet must have possessed a great power long ago. Needs time for its magic to awaken. And a bowl! Hell yeah. We can get some... What the... What... I don't know what that did. <laughs> oh, wait. Cooldown. I have to wait a minute? Or did I use it and now there's cooldown? I don't know. I'm good. Glad to hear it, Nancy. Stranger Things has ruined the name Nancy for me. I can never think of the name Nancy without thinking of Stranger Things. I can do... I can kind of do the same for some of the other names, too. Like Jonathan. Steve will never be one of those for me, just because I have a dad named Steve. Uh, I hated Eels to begin with, and he looks ugly. Sorry, Eels, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but you look horrendous. Dude, one of the worst movie scenes, for me at least, that I've ever seen was those like electric Eels or whatever in The Amazing Spider-Man or these, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where the guy fell in with the eels, and that's how he became the, like, villain. Oh my gosh, I hate it. So you do, so do you stream on a regular basis? Yes. I typically stream Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes Wednesday and Friday. Um, this was hap this just happened to be one of the Fridays that I streamed, uh, in part because I had to cancel a stream earlier in the week. Why are you barking? Um, but yeah, but in part because I had to cancel a stream earlier in the week. Usually if it's not on a Tuesday or Thursday, it's because, like, if it's, if it's a stream on a Wednesday or a Friday, it's typically because I'm playing with someone else and that's what works best for their schedule. But this stream is a little bit of an outlier. Oh my gosh, I didn't get it. That's upsetting. I wanted that fish. I want to see how many different fish I can get. What is this guy? Raw snapper. Sometimes I wonder about the names of things, you know? Not only, like, the existential question of why did we name this thing this, um, but also, like, animals. Some of them have just such dumb names. <laughs> and there's also some very insulting names, by the way. Like, I think there's a couple fish in particular that are named the most mean things ever and i feel so bad for the fish walleye i know you from stardew my stardew knowledge coming in clutch bro we're just gonna get a couple more fish just because it takes a lot more food to fill us up now so i don't want us to be starving it's also it looks like fairly early in the day i think yeah fairly early in the day like, I thought it'd be way later that by now. So we're making decent time. Ooh, you're pretty. That's bass? No fucking way. Yo, Bass Pro Shop, I got your fish. Come get it, motherfuckers.
Is that another bass? It was. Okay. This should be enough fish for now. We'll cook them up. I kind of want to see what the... <gasps> the apples. They're done. I kind of want to see what some of the different recipes are. Is there like a sushi recipe? That'd be cool. Press usage. Tuna salad. Makes sense. <gasps> Onigiri. Tuna fish sandwich. What is that? Sushi. Yep. That's cool. I'm assuming it's not swapping out. So maybe it is just tuna? I don't know. Seaweed. Cutting board. I'm going to have to make like a dedicated kitchen. I feel like that'd be cute when we make our final house. Oh, you can turn it into regular raw fish. Fish trap bait. Wait. There are traps? That's cool. Fish sticks. Fish sandwich. <laughs> fish dinner. Ceviche. California roll. Oh, that's so sick. That's so cool. Oh, I love this mod. That is bomb as hell. I'm not planning on making it any of that, so we're gonna... Okay, the eel is an eel. <laughs> we're gonna just make it all into raw fish just so it stacks for ease of access. And then we are gonna cook it. I'll save these. Can you use the clownfish for anything? Oh, same thing. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, I didn't expect I didn't expect that you'd be able to do it with the clownfish. I forgot about the drying racks. We'll have to do that cuz that might be handy. I wonder if jerky does better than cooked meat, you know? I wonder. I think Nope. Oh, wait, is it four? Excuse me. I had to figure out how we make the sapling. What? Oh, does it just have to be a... Oh, it has to be a regular sapling. Shit. Okay. We don't have any of those. I'll have to go and get one. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. I get it though. Right click right click on a grave soul to provide teleportation. Seems to depict a distant place. Wait. This is leading me out into the ocean. We're gonna look for this. We're gonna go look for this. That's cool as shit that we can just find like graves using this thing. That is awesome. We're going on an adventure in the morning. In the morning, I'm making waffles. All right. Boom, we got cooked fish, we got apples. I'm gonna put the apples back away. <laughs> I do not want to eat them. Let's hit the hay so that we can go on this little adventure. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. What do I want as a perk? Improves voodoo poppet. I doubt I'm going to use a voodoo poppet, so we'll stay away from that. Memento mori. <sighs> Memento mori, bro. Retains experience on death. Increases the chances of finding special items. Ooh. Improves magic books. Improves grave key. I think that's usually so that you can find your grave. But we also have the journey map, so we don't need that one. Improves magic scrolls and potions. Reduces the casting time with magic items and prevents damages from interrupting. Reduces range detection. That's cool. Oh, I think I was immediately thinking that it was like a stealth thing. But I think it's for when you die and you have that period where you're technically a ghost. But if you get too close to something, it'll detect you and then it auto the game automatically is like, you're not a ghost anymore. Congrats. <laughs> All right. Improves magic tablets. We have one of those. I kind of want treasure seeker. Let's go with that one. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Okay. It is morning. Let's go after this. Here, let's put this on my offhand.
I need it. Does it only work in my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, it is faster than me. I thought it was going to be slower, but I'm happy it's not. How far away is this? That's... This is going to be quite the... Quite the adventure. I don't think I prepared myself for this. Here we go. I'm immediately regretting this. But I'm not turning back now. I refuse. Look at all the squids. Oh, that's cute. I kind of want to check out some of the trees we find as well. Um, so that I can experiment with just different looks, you know? Is this just a regular oak? I think it is. Yeah, wow. This is a very desolate island. I mean, it's got berry bushes. So if you lived here, there's something. But wow. There we go. What is that? It's like a column in the water. <gasps> oh! It's a petrified tree. You can, if you pick up the logs from that, you can make it into the actual, like, living tree. Or at least get saplings so it'll grow into one. That's one of the ways that you can, like, have prehistoric plants in the game, which is really cool. Lots of sky slime islands around here. I don't think I see any, but they're appearing on the map. At the very least, I want to just venture out, get more areas on the map, you know? Fill it up just a little bit, because, like, look at this. Oh, we really haven't gone that far. Like, we didn't go very far from spawn. So this is the most adventuring we've done so far. I don't know that I'm going to go all the way to this location. Just because of the fact that it is really far, but... Okay. A little bit of swamp over there. That'll be good to know because I like grabbing the little... The, like, mini lily pads and then the lily pads with flowers. Ooh. Coral reef. Oh, whoa. Is this supposed to be, like, mangrove? It looks like it. Same sort of shape to the trees. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, it's got mud and everything, too. Mud. Oh, yeah, mangrove wood. What does this wood look like? Okay. All right. I was expecting the sort of color that you get in vanilla Minecraft, like in the newer updates. But I don't hate it. If we get uh, if we get the right other types of wood, I think I would like it for a house, but I don't know. <gasps> Jungle. Wow. Oh, you know what? I should have gotten that oak tree, because maybe I could have gotten a regular sapling from it. Dookie. Oh, <laughs> whoops, forgot about that. Willow wood. Koru. Wink, wink. Winky, winky. Let's grab one of these and see what this is like. Okay, pretty much the same as the log. I kind of like it, but I feel like I would only go for it if I were making like a witchy hut or something, you know? It's just a bit too green. Yeah, see, those are what I was talking about. The flowery lily pads. I think I might have... No, I only picked up the tiny ones. <laughs> Small and tiny.
I'm trying to be on the lookout for any cool fish, but I don't know that I see any from up here. I can see a bunch of little dots on the map, but I think I might be too high. I think the ocean's too deep here for me to see them from the top. <gasps> Whoa! They're so pretty! Oh my god! <laughs> that is a big-ass tree! Holy shit! Shaded garden. Give me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Flowering oak leaves. I'm going to chop some of these trees down and see if I can get some oak saplings. This is cool. This is really cool. I want to see that big tree. That is wild. It's also just a random jungle tree here. Oh, come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. I want to see the trunk. <gasps> Sacred? Whoa! This is- oh, it's two! Okay. Or no. This is the tree, but then this just happens to be here? This is cool as shit. I'm not touching that thing. Yeah, it's fucking huge! I don't think the trunk is as big as it looked. I think the top is the biggest part. But that is still sick as hell. I'm not touching this tree. This is- it says sacred. I believe it. I- I- I captain. I'm not touching it. Wow. Ow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna chop down some of these- oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't even have to chop anything down. It did the thing. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh. Give me, please. Thank you. Ooh. Anyway. Wow. Okay. Let's eat. Because I'm low-key starving myself while on this journey. So now we have at least enough saplings to make the apple tree and the avocado tree. So we can move them once we have the avocados. I don't know when avocados grow, though. Because it seems like they're growing way slower than the apples. I want to get a couple more saplings before I go. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more from this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got one. And that's it. <laughs> Good enough, though. If we mark this on the map, which I don't know if that's really, if there's, oh, you know, what? I do want to mark it because it's a shit, it's a sacred tree. Maybe I'll find out it's important. I don't know. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good color for this. <laughs> We're going to leave that. And it's a good way for us to be able to like find our way back here if we, for some reason, can't get oak saplings whatsoever, you know? Also, I didn't really look at this. I want to see this. Jurassic craft, heliconia. Uses. Prehistoric plant bale. Okay, so it doesn't really do anything, but I feel like it's cool as shit. It's very fiery. Oh yeah, definitely perfect for a treehouse. Agreed. I think if I find another one, then I'll decide that it's not as sacred and I'll turn it into a treehouse, but I really don't want to fuck with it. It's so pretty. I mean, look at the- oh, I like the leaf texture. Ooh, that's nice. Surrounded by all the flowering oak trees too that's gorgeous yeah if we find another one or i don't know the consensus is that it's not that sacred then we'll live there but i don't want to fuck it up it's also kind of in the middle of nowhere which is kind of dookie if we find another one that's in a better spot i'll definitely live in it that'd be sick i'll have to pull out all the stops i'm not that great of a builder <laughs> We have to cut through this mangrove swamp. Looks like it. Uh, yeah. I was gonna try to go around it, but I don't want to chance it. Oh, I didn't bring my bed. Shit, that was, that was dumb of me. That was a little silly, goofy. Not gonna, not gonna lie. All right, let's go. 
Oh, the mud. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be so slow going. Like, it sticks every time. Ew. I don't know that I like the sound. <laughs> Just more willow. Looks like it. Ooh, okay. We should be able... Nope. I was going to say we should be able to go right through here, but it looks like it's more of a lake situation. We'll go around. I'm going to try to stay out in the open ocean while it's nighttime, just so we don't get fucking murked. There's something over here. Ooh, wait. Ah. Jaw. We'll make ourselves a bed for traveling. Or there might be... There might be some other kind of bed that I added from a mod, but I don't know for sure. What is this? West Indian Light. Oh, is that the thing? I think that's from the first movie. I think. When the uh, Triceratops, when they meet the Triceratops and they're like, oh no, it's sick. And she goes, do you think it ate something that it wasn't supposed to? And he goes, the zookeeper, whatever the fuck he was. He's like, no, all the animals don't go near the the plants or whatever and they're all like fucking they're plants from back in the prehistoric period but they're all like some of them are poisonous <laughs> and she i think it was west in indian lilac that the trike ate i fu i love dinosaurs <laughs> if you couldn't tell i love dinosaurs so jurassic and jurassic park and jurassic craft are like my my bread and butter bro i'm not one of those people that knows a shit ton about dinosaurs themselves just because like Small brain. Not a lot of room for things. But I like them. And I think they're really cool. I think my favorite dinosaur right off the top of my head is... Oh, what's it called? You see it also in the first movie. Um, When the guy's running away with the, like, ooh, big bads. When the guy is running away from the park, or driving away from the park, um, and he drops that, like, can of- Oh, don't- don't shoot at me! He drops the can of... fucking something, what is it? Shaving cream. Drops the can of shaving cream that he's hiding shit in, and he's like, oh my gosh, where- where'd it go? And this dinosaur comes out of nowhere, and he's like, oh, good- good dino, good dino. And then he calls it stupid, and proceeds to turn around, and the dinosaur, like, fucking- rips the shit out of him or something after spitting nasty acid or whatever in his eyes. I don't remember. Uh... Dilo. Dilophosaurus. I remembered because my brother and I used to call them dildos. <laughs> We'd play Ark Survival Evolved. If you're really into dinosaurs, play Ark. Um, it's really cool. It is a very beefy game, so if you want to get it on PC, make sure that you have the space for it, I will say. Um... But we played Ark Survival Evolved on our Xbox together, and when we first met the when we first met the Diplodocus, or the the Diplodocus, all the D ones, we were like, okay, we're gonna differentiate them by calling this one a dildo. <laughs> and we were old enough that it wasn't like a horrendous thing to do, but it was the funniest shit. We'd see one, and we'd be like, oh my god, or like one would attack us because that's what they do is they spit this like venom or something in your eyes to blind you um i don't know if they did that back when they existed but at least that's what they did in the game and uh we'd be like fuck this dildo got me <laughs> this dildo fucking spit in my face it was the funniest thing it was like the most idiotic call outs ever okay 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 <gasps> no i'm dumb i'm dumb please <laughs> i beg <laughs> That was the most idiotic thing I've ever fucking done. <laughs> Just pure, unadulterated panic. For no reason. And also almost murdering myself by not being able to open a door. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Uh, literally. I always- I think that was like in the back of my head the majority of the time. I was like, what if our mom comes in here and just hears us talking about dildos? <laughs> like, this isn't gonna be a great conversation. 
All right, we're going to make a bed. That's not how you make a bed. I swear there's like a bed roll or something you can make. Bed roll. No, that must have been one of the mods I ixnade. Oh, I keep burping. We're going to get rid of these zombies that are outside the door so we can sleep. And then we're going to go me, 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 you know? That was actually a really good snort. Holy shit. I thought I'd have to half-ass it. Hey, excuse me. Who got you? I don't want to- I don't want to die. What? Don't you fucking do it. Leather worker. You're about to work this dick. Nope. Just wait a minute. I'm waiting for my hearts to fill up. I can't fight you like this. Oh. I'm attracting all the men. <laughs> Apparently it does not take a milkshake to bring the boys to the yard. It takes fear and the nighttime. What? He walked in and walked out. Are you okay, sir? Do you need help? Yeah, I figured. Okay. Sir, why are you up on the table? That's not very gentlemanly of you. You should not. Oh, they're probably going after a villager over there. Oh, fuck my hatchet. X. <laughs> hacks. I call hacks. I'm gonna ban you, bitch. Oh, they're lurking outside. Wait, where'd the- Oh, he's here. Hello. I'm gonna call you- Jim. Jim, don't push me. This is the dumbest strat ever. Ah, uh, okay. Here, that's what we're gonna do. Cause I can't, I can't sleep with these guys over here. We're gonna go to a different house. I don't see. See, that's nice. We're gonna have to get shit from. The ah! Yay. <laughs> I don't see. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay. Sorry, I was looking for... Oh, did I interrupt something? Nitwit! Bro, the game assaulted you mentally. That is horrendous. Can you move? I need to sleep. Okay. Anyway, I saw the... I saw the dig site. One of the dig sites where we could potentially get a CD or a disc. All right. Let's search this first. Oh, zooey mama, bro. An iron pick. We got two sets of pants. Don't think we'll need both of them. Ooh, oak saplings. Yes, please. Twig, iron ingot. Grab that shit. Grab the obsidian, because hopefully we can make obsidian tools. I'm going to leave the seed. Just because we don't need it. Like, we can get seeds literally anywhere. All right, and then... Cool. Let's go to the dig site. There should be a shovel down here, so I won't need this one. Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, there's a guy down here. Paleontologist! Hello! CD? Oh, fuck! Oh, but there's a plaster and bandage. Let's go. Okay, so. It's time to get into the mod. So, you have to take these plaster and bandages, I learned. Um, and right-click them on these, these fossils, to be able to pick up the fossils. Otherwise, they break, and you don't pick up anything. <laughs> so, we're going to click this Velociraptor fossil, see it becomes encased. And then you can pick it up. And then you use it in some machine, I think. Um, I don't remember what one. I'm going to have to mark this place off on the map so we can come back here. I don't have the inventory space for any of this. 
I'm going to get rid of the lily pads. I'm definitely taking the fossilized eggs. Oh, it's a Gallimimus. Oh, no, these are the same. Okay. I was trying to stack them and I was like, that doesn't look right. <gasps> Microraptor teeth! Hell yeah. We can get ourselves a little Microraptor at some point. Fun. We shouldn't need another one of those, so. I'm just trying to make room for all this. <gasps> this is the one, Dilophosaurus. That's the guy. They have like these almost fin looking things that go i think all the way around their head like this and then when they it it's like a oh that's the head um but yeah they have these like fin things and like a lot of animals do they try to make themselves look bigger and more scary by flaring it then it like does this weird little like jazz hands thing all around their head and they hiss at you and then they spit the shit at you <gasps> cole can't first dorsal fin I like cool cans. They're a cool fish. And I don't think they are... Uh, I don't think they are meat eaters. Which is nice, because I don't want to be eaten. Fuck. I definitely don't have the space. Alright, we're gonna leave all this shit here. We'll come back for it at, an, at a later date. I just- I don't have the space. <laughs> I can't spare it. Let's make... Where are we? There we are! dig site number one because i'm assuming we'll find more um all right we'll come back here and get this stuff at a later date but for now we're just gonna have to deal oh there's two paleontologists stuck in there what look at them look at them moving the sand and shit that's so cool oh my god that's so dumb but so cool i love it them doing a little job working their work Okay, so where do we have to go for this? This way. Gotcha. Much further. 10,705 blocks. Dookie. <laughs> Let's get the sugar cane. Because we can't... This is a summer crop, right? Yeah, this is summer crop, so we can't grow it once it gets cold out. Unless we put it underground or something. That's what I might do until we get the greenhouse up and running. Or I'll do separate greenhouses. I'll do like a spring, winter, summer, summer, fall greenhouse. Ooh. It's all snowy over here. This is cute. <laughs> the lily pad on the ice. Dude, when you think about lily pads, at least for me, it freaks me out that they're like underground or like under the water, like connected. It makes sense, you know? The lily pads don't want to float away or whatever. And they're also plants. They can't just appear. But, like, games make it seem like they're just floating on top of the water. So the fact that they have, like, stems or whatever kind of freaks me out. Kind of bugs me. A little scary. And I think that's mostly because I don't like things touching me underwater. So it's just another thing to add to the list of things that could potentially scrape my foot underwater and make me lose my mind. So... I think it looks like we might be able to just go around this island and continue our way. Yeah, let's do that. I just don't want to traverse the whole island if we don't have to. Oh, this is like the biome we spawned in. <gasps> wow. So many leaves. Leaves? No, plants. Ooh, get fucked on. <laughs> Hello, Brandy. Welcome back. <laughs> it's just lurking back there. You scare me so much of the time. You're just unnecessarily creepy. And I don't understand what possesses you. Whee! I don't want the lily pads. This 
spruce it is best. Yeah, that's very fair. I don't know what f what wood is my favorite wood, but I feel like spruce wood is one of the most... Like, at the very least, it's my favorite door. I love the door. The door is very medieval. Um, I like the, the door and the trap door match in, like, a really nice... Ooh, oh, that's a texture issue. <laughs> but they match in a really nice way. Um, and I feel like it's the best wood for, for building. Because, like, it just it makes houses look so nice, you know? Especially if you, like, use darker and lighter block colors with it. Like, mix it up a little bit, you know? Like, spruce wood and then maybe, like, dark oak wood for the roof or whatever. Like, it's, it's so good. I think that's either pine or fir. Those trees over there. I don't know why there's just a random block floating without textures, but... It is what it is. This is like a series of islands. We're gonna skirt around this if possible. I didn't like that at first. I could see that it was deeper as far as the water went, but I thought it was like insanely deep and it, it was a little spooky. I'm not like afraid of the ocean. I'm afraid of things in the ocean and things touching me without me realizing, like I said. Like I don't like when seaweed brushes up against me or whatever or like a fish because like i said typically don't know what it is don't see it in time um but like i totally get why people are terrified of the ocean and why they feel such unease when they see like the depth you know that shit's spooky i was talking with a friend of mine finn uh not long ago because we have a qotd um thing in the discord question of the day and it happens every Wednesday. And last Wednesday or the Wednesday before, the question was, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Um, and Finn's was regarding NASA. Because NASA originally um, would research and do shit involving the ocean. And so Finn, Finn's favorite conspiracy was like, what did they see that made them turn to space rather than continue their research involving the ocean. And I was like, you know what? That's so fucking fair. That's so fair. Because there's so many creepy things we already know about in the ocean. Not to mention all the things that we don't know about. Like, I couldn't even imagine what they might have seen. If anything, they might have just been like, oh, this space would probably be cooler. But like, you know, what did they see? Sorry, I want to check these out and see if they're... See if they're a Pam's Harvest Craft thing. Nope. Their biomes are plenty. Which means they are effectively useless. Let's get out of here. The bat takes off. Where is there a bat near me? Where is this bat taking off from? Probably some megalodon. Oh my god, literally. The meg turned into real life oh you thought the meg was was just like a haha -ha funny movie because haha -ha, we already did jaws might as well do the meg no 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 based off true story <laughs> that'd be horrific i would sob <laughs> speaking of oceans because we're talking about the ocean and everything um the first time i ever saw the ocean was the coast by salem salem massachusetts and we're going back to salem early october first week um monday through monday through wednesday and we might see the ocean again and if we do i'm gonna say hello but i'm not getting in it <laughs> not that it's probably great to get in it anyway because i think that's like a bay or something around there but uh-uh I would never go in the ocean again for definite. Literally. If I knew. Is that? Oh, that's definitely, that's definitely a no-no sand. But if like, if I knew for certain that there was something that dangerous, like a megalodon, that fucking huge, that could essentially eat like a town in one bite, you wouldn't catch me dead in the ocean again. I would just avoid water entirely because... Even if it's the shallowest fucking river in the world, 
what if a megalodon somehow got in it? Like, I'd be so irrational about it, but I wouldn't be able to get over it. It would terrify me. Oh, this is like one of my favorite biomes. Oh, look at this shit. Literally, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that there's no different wood types. Like, it's just jacaranda and oak, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna... They're not following me, right? No, they're not following me. Okay, I'm gonna throw my bed down just so we don't have to deal with any more of them. I am considering living here, though. This will be one of the considerations. My ear keeps itching. I'm also gonna have to kill these pigs because I have some raw mutton, but I need more food for sure. Brr. Right? It's gorgeous. I say as I murder its its wildlife. Lavender. Ooh. I think I have a fan I think I have a family member that family member that loves lavender. I don't remember who. Okay, let's put that back. Yeah, this is definitely a consideration for places to live. I would have to transport Obviously, I'd have to transport my shit a long ways away, but I would also have to transport trees that I would like into this area because there's only the two types. Mm. Piggle. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Got him. Cool. All right, where are we going this way? Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Oh, horses. They're so cute. We're definitely going to get a horse at some point. We're going to make it a whole thing. We're going to have cute little paths from our greenhouses to our house. We're going to have a little barn. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be like cottage core, but plus dinosaurs. <laughs> cottage core with dinosaurs. The thing we didn't know we needed. And probably don't actually need. But we feel like we need, so... Needs must. <laughs> I'm gonna get all these berries. These berries don't feed you much. I think they feed you... Half a food bar each. But you can eat them so fucking fast. Kaj corn dino sounds like my dream. So true. Me too, honestly. You know what? Let me mark that so I don't have to go looking for it. On the map. Why is that pink? On the map. Anyway. Uh, why does that look like- wait, we just left the- what? Oh, I'm confused. We just- isn't it right back? I feel like I'm being gaslit by the world right now. <laughs> wait. We just came from it, right? Wait, what's this? Oh, cherries. Yeah, it was right over there. Where's it on the island? Or the map? It's gotta be this area. Yeah, Lavender Fields. It's just not showing for some reason. I'm gonna mark it. But not with this color. This color's dookie. There we go. Perfect. Why did my phone go off? Hello? Anything important? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Ooh. Berries. But yeah, as I was saying, look at this. Uh, let me pull out the berries. See, they only feed you half a bar, but they feed you fast. Like, you eat that shit like you're starved. Like, you've been on a diet and these berries are your piece of pizza, you know? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> this way. Yep, yep. Cool. Gooseberries. Oh, we're back to the... We're back over toward the biome that we're living in currently. Not the same biome, but, you know. White anemone. Wait, so are there flowers named anem anemones? And then... Also, things in the ocean? Anemone. An enemy. An enemy. That's gonna how that's gonna be how I remember it from now on. An enemy. 
What's that? Oh, that's an enemy. Do you know if I'm saying an enemy or an enemy? No, you don't. Mealworm beetles! That's the thing that we read about that the uh, Microraptor will eat. Awesome. We're keeping that for the Microraptor. For our future Microraptor that we may or may not get sometime. <laughs> Listen, we have... Not on us, but at the dig site. We have its teeth. We have the fossilized teeth. So, it's a start. <laughs> it's one step toward the Microraptor. How much further do we have to go? That's not too bad. 7,000. Just for the sake of things, I'm going to teleport us back home once we get over here. Um, by using the waypoints, not by like typing in slash TP. Um, but yeah, just because it's quicker. I don't want to run all the way back and then die and lose it all. Oh, meat. Thank you. I don't know who killed you, but I'll take your meat. Even though your buddy was standing over it like he was crying. God, I probably sounded like I was about to cry. Listen, anytime I try to get even slightly fake sad, I genuinely start to choke, choke, choke up. <laughs> like, I can fake cry like the best of them, but I will also sound and feel like I'm actually about to sob. So, that's something. <laughs> It's probably part of why an acting career is just not in not in the realm of possibility for me. Uh, black horse. I think they're the fastest horses. I think it's I feel like if I remember right, it's really good to breed them with other horses because I think they're the fastest, but their hearts are low. Yeah, like see he's got a good amount of horse hearts, but I think that's around the average. Unless he's maybe above average. You might be above average, horse. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like black horses are faster, but they typically have less hearts, which means you like to breed them with ho horses that are stronger with more hearts. I also don't know about their jump. There's like a bunch of fucking shit about horses. Like, there's horses that jump higher, so you'd want to breed it and try to get like the perfect in-between of all three. Like a horse that has a good amount of hearts, ho horse that's pretty fast. Horse that has hops, you know. <gasps> Velage! Let's go. I'm gonna cook this shit if they have a place to cook it. I mean, not that I don't have stuff. I have a furnace. But I'm gonna cook it. And if they have a dig site, I'm gonna check out their dig site. They better have a fucking dig site. I want one of those discs. We need one of those discs. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Like, inlaid into the hill. Huh. Oh, wait, wait. You're a... Geneticist. Liquid auger. DNA nucleotides. I don't know what the fuck that is. I am not the right major for that shit. Do they have a dig site? Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Wait, but if they have him, they've got to have the building for him, right? There's like a specific- Oh, it's flooded. Sad. Oofa. The paleontologists are not having a good time down there. Poor paleontologists. Oh, there's a the chest. Oh, mosquito and amber. Hell yeah. Fossilized egg. Plaster and bandage. We can get... No, we can't. I was going to say we can get a couple of these encased blocks. Like, we can encase some of the fossils around here. It does not look like there are any, very many fossils. It looks like there's a bunch of holes. We'll mark this anyway so we can get the shit. But if there's any fossils, we can use the plaster another time. Because they won't stack. Um, dig site number two. I think it's like a little bit more orange than the other one. Yeah, that one's a bit more yellow. Cool. Well, we checked it out. No discs. But if there's geneticists, there might be the building for the geneticists. Which can sometimes have the discs in it as well as the uh, machines in it. It'll sometimes have, like, the machines that you need to do stuff. Why are there so many of them? There's got to be a building. Right? Or they wouldn't be here. I don't see one. 
I need to take a breather at some point and cook this shit before we keep going. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Ooh, apple! Oh, it's not done yet. There's a path up here. It looks like it drops off. No buildings over here. No buildings over there. This is one of the empty ones, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a, <laughs> a little bit of tree in there. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna cook this shit. Oh, that sucks. I'm genuinely a little bit sad that we don't have the building here. Because I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the building's called. But it looks different than the rest of these. And it typically has, like, almost little tables where they'll have the, uh... They'll have the machines. And, like, it'll have the DNA sequencer and all that shit. The shit that, like, takes a minute to get and to make because it's got all these different parts. Um, and then it'll have a chest in there with stuff. I think that's usually where you, where you get the discs. I don't know for sure. Alright, let's cook the mutton. We'll go to sleep so that nothing spawns. I'm going to go now because it's, like, 2 a.m. of Great Rest Stream. I might come back, though, if I can't sleep. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're able to pass out. If not, feel free to come back. Um, I'll probably be live for about another hour um, or so, depending on what my level, my energy levels are like. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed stream and I uh, hope you have a good night. It is not quite dark out, so I'm not going to pass out just yet. I'm going to put this down, though, so we can at least... Never mind. <laughs> Apparently we cannot get in it. Even though that would be a good idea. Let's pick this up. I want to sleep and then immediately get going, if possible. And I think we're probably still going in this direction, right? Yeah. It's been pretty steady just that way. I hope this is good. I hope that we get some good shit from this. From this grave that we're finding. There we go. Alright, we got our meat. Let's hop down here. Pass out real quick. Cool. Let's get going. We got everything we needed. And we have marked the place so we can come back. Oh, marsh. We have a lot of marshlands around where I live. There's a city, like, practically right next door to my town. Um, I was trying to, I was trying to describe it to my therapist a, a while ago, because, like, you know, different areas have different tolerances to queerness and everything. Um, so he was trying to get a gauge of, like, whether my area is more prone to, like, be accepting or not. Um, and we were talking about it, and I, I, was, ha I was having trouble explaining it because it's right next to the city. But around the city is a lot of marsh. Um, and that's part of why some areas near me blood a lot because they were marshlands that got turned into like developments or whatever um like there's one specific marsh that's almost entirely still intact i'm pretty sure um and the areas around it tend to flood because they've been turned into businesses and all this different stuff goes to show you you should leave it leave that shit alone like there was a uh, there's a guy in um, Rooster Teeth. I don't remember which guy, but I was watching their playthrough of Seven Days to Die forever ago. And one of them in one of the episodes was talking about how his childhood home, the street it was on, and the building itself gone. Because they were having so much flooding that the town or the city or whoever was like 
it'd be better if we just gave it back to the earth right so that's what they did and that's essentially what they're trying to do uh i think in my area because we get a lot of floods where i live um i don't know if this was marshland where i live but i know that we're very close to a creek um and that's part of why we flood a lot i know that at one point apparently this is just what i've heard um this company used to come in and dig out excuse me dig out rocks from the bottom of the creek like the creek bed and it was a construction company so they'd use them and then at some point the town got greedy and was like oh you know what we're gonna make you pay for the rocks that you take out and almost the second that they said that, the company was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're not going to take any more rocks from your creek. And, like, a year later or something, we got our first flood. Um, and, like, when I say first flood, I mean my entire life up until that point, we had not had a single flood. Which is so wild um, to think about now. But now we get floods a lot. So they're buying out houses. Um... I think with the plan in place to get rid of the uh, get rid of the houses around here, so me just like him will not have a childhood home. <laughs> it will be gone if all goes well and the stuff goes through. And while it's like a little bit sad to think about, at the same time I'm like it's better this way, you know. But yeah, this is what say bamboo forest. Okay, so we're on the lookout for a bamboo forest. What? I get so many emails that are duplicates. Like I'll get two emails to the same account. I have like a couple different email accounts, but I'll get several to the same account, and I'm like, bro, you email me one more time. I'm going to break into your headquarters and shove these emails back down your throat. <laughs> like, cut that shit. The Lage! Hell yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go! I really, really hope that there is a dig site and a building with the things. Oh, 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 I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, that's it. Ah! It might not have the shit in it, but... Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? And we have the desert nearby. Ooh. This is awesome. This is this is amazing. I woohoo. I'm so hype. OK, where was it was over here, right? No, where was it? I saw it and then I think I ran by it to get berries. Oh, it's down there. OK, 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 OK. I'm so excited. It's got all the shit in it. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Door is blocked. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta get rid of something. Oh no! Yes! Storage disks! Yes! Oh hell yeah! We're definitely gonna have to come back. This is gonna have to be one big trick trip of coming back here. Or you know what? No, no, no. I'll do it off stream. I'll come back off stream so you guys don't have to watch this whole thing again. Oh, yes! So for anyone who wasn't here earlier when I was discussing this, 
Um, you need the storage discs. You can these things. You can only get them from these buildings in these chests, which is like the most difficult part of it. And you have to use them in here. See, so you uh, you use them in the DNA extractor, and we need them for the DNA synthesizer, and the no, the DNA sequencer. So this thing. See this thing? We have to put a disc in here alongside um dna which duh makes sense right um but the thing is you get this this is for like all the plants all the animals um or i guess just the plants for the sequencer or no it does get the animals okay so um you have to get soft tissue from fossils so we have to grind up the fossils that we've found so far to get soft tissue. And whether that's Velociraptor soft tissue, like any animal soft tissue or its plant, we then have to put it into this, the sequencer, with a disc. And it puts the DNA on the disc like this. See how this is Brachiosaurus? And then you use the disc with DNA on it in the synthesizer with one of the test tubes that we found and DNA nucleotides and it makes Velociraptor DNA and then you take the DNA a syringe a petri dish and you make a Velociraptor syringe and then you can make a Velociraptor egg we're like so much closer to being able to have dinosaurs because of this like look at this this is essentially almost every step that we need right here like, I think the only thing we might be missing is maybe the last th the last machine and then the fossil grinder. But the fossil grinder is easy to make. Like, this is monumental. I need to mark this. So, uh, what are they called? Geneticist? Oh, we'll just call it geneticist lab. Geneticist lab number one because i'm hoping to find more and we'll do we'll do like a blue because i feel like blue is very laboratory to me now is there a dig site there should be i think there's a dig site at almost every village now but i might be wrong let's look around see if we can find one in the meantime i'm gonna get more berries because the berries are great Uh, I don't see any dig sites. I definitely see some caves. Let's put this down here. This is the oh butcher. I thought it was gonna be one another one of the nitwits. <laughs> okay, I don't see a dig site, but it might be like a give and a take. You get a dig site, you don't get a you don't get a geneticist lab. I don't know, but let's keep going. We'll come back for sure that is phenomenal after having however many villages with no geneticist lab i was kind of losing hope and this isn't horribly far like in the grand scheme of things this really isn't that bad lychee i'm definitely gonna have to grab some of this fruit on my way back. Whoop. Bye, Brandy. Love you. Mwah. Anyway. Let's go sleep quick. I think the plan is I'm gonna go until we reach the, uh... I'm gonna go until we reach this place that we're trying to get to, this grave. Um, and then once we figure out what's at the gravesite, we'll look around and then end off there. Ooh, starfruit? Yeah! Starfruit, and I'm assuming this is bananas? Oh, tamarind. Okay, okay. Oh, this shit. We're gonna need copper. This, this we need, obviously it says for Jurassic Craft, we need these for the plaster and bandages. This is for a lot of the thermal foundation stuff. Ooh, plant fossil. 
far are we? A little over 5,000 blocks. Which is not bad. Which means we're a little... I think we're a little over halfway. Because I think we started at around 10,000. Brandy, shush! She's not happy. I'm not paying attention to her. And no one's downstairs to pay attention to her. Peaches. I really want to pick up all these little bushes that we keep finding for the like shaded gardens and stuff. I just don't have the inventory to keep all the stuff with me. <gasps> Another Velage! That's like the fourth or fifth we found. That is wild. I mean, yeah, we're traversing 10,000 blocks, but damn. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be running practically right into almost every one of them. I don't know. I thought that they'd be like out of view, like I'd bypass them or something, but I'm okay with this. Any geneticist lab around here? This dig site. Hell oh, yeah. Let's mark this. Dig site number three. Okay, and then let's see if we can see a geneticist lab around here. That house goes right down into the ground. Wow. Genesis lab. What we got in here? Another DNA synthesizer. DNA combina combinator hybridizer. Ooh. So many storage disks. Liquid auger. Empty test tubes. Petri dishes. Beautiful. Okay, let's mark this place as well. Geneticist lab number two. Another blue. There. That's awesome. I'm so hype. So hype to get all this shit and be able to get going. Because, like, the biggest issue, really, when it comes to um getting started with the dinosaurs is all of the um all the different machines you need because there's like a couple machines i got to this point when i was playing on my own and the machines take like all these different it's like a lot of tech mods where it's a piece just like in real life it's like a piece of it but that piece is also needs to be made via a bunch of other pieces and that those pieces need to be made via a bunch of other pieces it gets very convoluted and very difficult to follow and there i think some of the machines are more expensive as well hey emma jordan i'm doing pretty good how are you welcome in okay i don't see a geneticist lab and i don't see a dig site so this place is kind of dookie in comparison to some of the other villages we've seen Let's keep her going. How much further? Okay. 4,200 blocks. That's not bad. Where do I live? Um, In game or in real life? Because in real life, I will only get as specific as saying I live in New York and not the city. In game, I live like 7,000 blocks from here. We've come a long way. One if by land, two if by sea. Mmm, yummy. That sounds pretty good. Which part? <laughs>
I wanted to see if there was any way to like do this quicker, like TPS there, which would kind of suck ass since we've gone so far already, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use the waypoints to get back after this. Because there's no way I'm running all the way back. Although, I will have to stop at all of the dig sites and Genesis slabs that we've found so far. What do you do for a living? I am a video editor. Um, I edit for myself and then I also edit for a client slash friend of mine. Um, I always say client slash friend because when we first started working together we barely knew each other but since then we've become pretty good friends and we stream together every once in a while her birthday is tomorrow by the way she's having a subathon if you guys want to check that out um i will be part of her subathon three times <laughs> uh we'll be doing hardcore together minecraft hardcore and then we'll be playing phasmophobia as well um but yeah i edit her twitch content so i'll take her streams and her clips and edit them for um tiktok instagram that type of stuff um and i do the same for myself plus youtube editing so let's go this way i always forget that 1.12.2 the version that we're playing right now doesn't have the like super quick swimming um it has the old the old timey swimming that they used to have oh another lavender that's awesome. I will warn you that, um, not that it's specifically stated in the rules, but I'm not looking for anyone to do emotes or any art for me. Um, it's not a priority, and I would appreciate if you do not bother me about that. <laughs> if I need someone, I will go looking. <laughs> but I doubt I will anytime soon. Pig grab burned to death. What does that mean? What is pig grab? Like, what could that possibly be? Oh, I love the lavender biomes. They're so pretty. I really wish that they had different wood. All they have is the jacaranda and the oak. Which, let me look at the jacaranda. See if it's something I want for our house. Because we might live here. We might live in one of the lavender biomes. Ooh, that is like a nice pastel pink. Okay, I'm going to keep that on me so that I know I want jacaranda wood. Or you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. Let's throw that out. Uh, I was going to say I have a notebook for a reason, but I seem to have moved it. <laughs> Whoops. It's a good thing I have a shit ton of sticky notes. So, jacaranda. Okay, cool. I just didn't want to forget what wood we want for the house. Because if I either don't have it or don't write it down, I will forget because of how far we're going. Um, and then I'll be like, shit, I knew there was a type of wood I wanted. And I'll feel stupid. And then I'll have to comb through the VOD looking for what it was. Thank you for the off, Emma. Offer Emma. Jesus. I'm tripping over my words tonight. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a mountain. Holy shit. It looks like it just, ha it just has fir trees on it. That is fucking wild. That is so up there. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how much of it is there. Like if it's just... Like, if it's just this bit here, or if it's, like, a whole island going that way. But if it's just this bit, that would be so cool if this was multiplayer to have other- to have someone be like, this is my mountain, and fucking change the entire mountain to, like, some shit. That'd be so cool. I'm actually- I'm living in a mountain home on a survival server that we have in the Discord. Um, and it's- <laughs> It's kind of shitty. I've just started out. I have to make the outside look better. Currently, the outside is the worst part. Inside looks fine. Outside looks like trash. In case anyone is interested in joining, exclamation mark Discord in chat. And the link should work. If it doesn't work, let me know. But 
if anyone wants to join in on the vanilla. I don't even remember why I made the vanilla server. I think I was just like craving some vanilla fun with some friends. I don't even know. Okay, once we get to this island over here, we're gonna lay down the bed and go to sleep really quick. Are these just oak trees? It looks like it. Yeah, oh, we got some texture issues over there. I know it's one specific block that's doing it, but I don't know why it's just appearing places. And I don't know how to fix it. Because it didn't do that in the previous worlds. So. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ah ha ha. Okay. Now. Let me go this way. Let's get rid of that and we'll just run. Because I don't know how much of this is dirt. I don't want to go around it and make us off course. Oh, nice. A mountain in our way. <laughs> Lovely. So, whoa. Ah, ah, ah. Bad water. Ow. Uh, what is that? I don't like it. <laughs> what kind of water was that? Uh, I get it. When people say that they dislike water, I get it. That water was mean. Vicious. Wee. <gasps> Pickles. I might have to eat you. No, no, I should be fine. My lip is just... Eh. There we go. Much better. That looks like it's more marsh, I think. I'm slowly getting familiar with the biomes of plenty biomes. I know there's one, not in Biomes of Plenty, I don't think, but there's one in this data pack that looks so fucking cool. It's all, I think, like blue or purple. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got like crystals and flowers all over the place, just like lying about. Um, like it's got the fucking, what are they, the amethyst? Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful. Get some berries. I think the water is the most tedious part of this. Just like crossing small bodies is... Like I mentioned before, you can't swim fast like you used to. Or like you can in the newer versions. Minecart rolls. Who's rolling a minecart? Who doing that shit? Cut it out. Bah. Irene! Why are you trying to swim in, swim in water? Why don't you do that instead of swimming in lava? That's a little silly. That's a little silly goofy. Eat our berries. Eat some more berries. There we go. Blue hydrangea, I wonder. Does this give me light blue? Yeah, fuck. I was hoping it might give me cyan. I didn't think it would, but I was hoping. What are these? Flax? That apparently gives you nothing. There we go. Hell yeah! Less than 2,000 blocks away. Let's go, lads! Oofa. Spent the past, like, 
hour on this adventure it was great we're like loading in so many chunks we're fucking discovering so many biomes i love it it's great this is the adventure we didn't know we needed truly There we go. All right, let's keep going. Keep her going. Part of me wants to do like a cute pink bed, but I don't know. I have my heart set on cyan for whatever reason. Sorry about that. Alright, we are back. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I know they're called like an ancient something. I've gone into creative and tried to like pick them up using the middle mouse button to see what they are. And it won't let me. So I don't know. I don't know if that's because of the texture issue or if it's because there's something else fucky-wucky with the blocks. I don't know. Probably should have been grabbing more of this while I see it because we're gonna need a lot of it. You need paper and then the gypsum powder that you get from those blocks that I showed you earlier um, to be able to make the plaster and bandages. Closer way. 1,279 blocks. Let's go. <gasps> redwood. What's the redwood like? Hold on. What's this like? It's definitely like the log. It's more of an orange than a red, like an orangish red, I think. Okay, I kind of like it. I'll consider it. I'm gonna put it on the list. I'm gonna mark this place so I don't lose it. Redwood Forest, of course, red. <laughs> All right, now let's get rid of the planks and keep going. Is it gonna be in the marsh? So we're coming up on marshland. I'm very curious as to what this is going to be. I'm going to be kind of sad if it's either dookie, like you don't get anything good, or it's just like a cool look at this thing type of thing, you know? Like there's nothing to get. It's just a place. <laughs> we will find out. Don't tell me it's going to be in the ocean. Oh, okay, okay, there's land that way. Oh, wait. It's like islands. Nine hundred and sixty more blocks. Up. Oh. There we go. Got stuck for a minute. Ooh, Lily of 
the valley. Ready? Oh god. I take it back. I'll take it in the middle of the ocean if it's not in the dark dark oak forest. I was going to say, it's not down there, is it? <laughs> that scared me. I want to sleep ASAP so we're not finding it in the middle of the night. There we go. It apparently, it apparently is nighttime at precisely 10.30 at night. Hey, Queen! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in! How is stream, Queen? Hey, cool sneaker! What are you guys up to? Were you still doing the same stream? Or something different? Get out of here, you fucking lily pads. Now, much further. Okay, okay, okay. This away. <laughs> you were still playing Pixelmon? Oh my goodness. I don't remember when I stopped by, but I stopped by right at the beginning. And it was hours ago, so it's been a hot minute. Wow. Kudos to you guys for going for so long. How close are we? Oh, 350 blocks. I'm excited. Ooh, we're back in the mangrove swamp. What is that? What kind of tree is that? What is that? Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I got stuck. Fuck. Hold on. It's fun until you get stuck. We swerving. Oh, it's the bamboo forest. Oh my gosh, we're here. You came in at the... Yeah, I did. I did. You weren't even playing yet. You were just on your starting soon screen. I had you open for a while, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was talking to my parents. Okay, so it's somewhere in here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let me get out of this mud. Ugh. This is sick. This is such well-textured bamboo. I love it. I don't really like our bamboo forests. I kind of wish we had these. Only like six-ish six -ish hours of Pixelmon with a lot of BRB and stream crashes. Mm. I thought I saw um, another announcement that you were alive. I thought it might have been that you crashed. That sucks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Good on you for the perseverance, though. For sure. Here, right. Right here? Okay. Let's start digging. Do I have a shovel? I do! Okay, right here. Somewhere down here. <laughs> Sir Daughter Daughterin. <laughs> that is an amazing name. Oh, but that's showing up there. Distance 10. Wait, 10 blocks? Hold on. 11. Okay, so we're we're down from where it is. It's up here. Right? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's like right here, right? What? Is it just like right around here? I'm breaking all my shit! I'm sorry. We'll, we'll fist it. Don't you take it that way, you dirty-minded freaks. 
I say as if I'm not the same way. I feel like it's gotta be. I don't know what- I, I don't know what we're looking for, though. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what to expect. I just know it's around here. Whatever it is. We might just have to dig around in this area, which is fine. Um, okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up camp just so I can make some useful shovels. I'm looking at you, you fucking stone shovel, little bitch. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make a crafting table and then let's get on this shovel business. And since our inventory is so fucking full, I am also going to make a chest. Just for now. We're not planning on staying here indefinitely, but... I want to be able to put my stuff down so that if we find anything cool, we can carry it. I'm just going to throw random shit in here because we're taking it all home anyway. And if we find something cool and I can't carry it, that's totally fine. I'll be coming back here anyway, likely. Guava. Is there more guava? No, none of them. Wait, 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 wait. No, none of them are grown. Thank you. So it shows it right there. I'm assuming it's somewhere in this general vicinity. Maybe I should look this up. I'm doing this without any idea of exactly what I'm doing. Which really is just the story of my life. Sorry while we get some lag while I open up my browser. I think the dog just went downstairs. There it is. Okay. Went to location. Only to discover... Absolutely nothing I missed. Anything. I'm gonna read a couple more things in the hopes that that was incorrect. Because if that was in fact correct, I'm going to sob. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna sob. This was, this was not a fruitless venture either way. But... Let's see. Brandy, stop it. What does this do? Oh, that did that. Oh, whoa. I don't know what that did. I swear it did something. What did it do? What did it do, though? And it was just, oh my gosh. It's available to uncover a couple of buildings and teleport. So it's supposed to f be a building here. But I don't see a building. We're gonna dig down. See if there's anything here. If there isn't, that's fine. Like I said, this wasn't a fruitless adventure. While this was the main reason we left, we found three dig sites, right? Yeah, we found three dig sites and two geneticist labs. And we also found one place that we we could potentially live as well as a redwood forest for wood for the place so definitely not fruitless especially with the genesis labs because we need those we need those uh those storage cards or those storage discs I 
Yeah, I don't know that there's going to be anything here. That's alright. Let's do this. I'm going to keep looking off stream so I can just fucking go crazy, go stupid, and not worry about talking the entire time. Not that I'm a chatterbox really right now, but... Oh, it's dropping guava because I... Is it because I chopped down the tree? No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, try to think what to do here. I'm going to get rid of the jungle wood. I'm going to get rid of all the wood. We don't need it. What is that? Hold on, let me eat some berries. This is cool, this river that cuts through the uh, bamboo forest and connects to the jungle. That's really sick, honestly. I hope you didn't hear that. If you did, I'm sorry. <laughs> My dog is an asshole. Ooh, these are pretty. Orange Cosmos. This is cool. Just like the little additions to the jungle biome is sick. You know, like the flowers and stuff. I like it. Welcome back. Sorry you couldn't sleep. We didn't end up finding anything at the location, which is kind of sucky. I'm going to look off stream. Like absolutely go ham on digging around the area. And see if I can find it. But I haven't found anything so far. Welcome back, Brandy. Oh, lady. All right, we're going to go back to our little base over here. Our temporary home. This is, see, this is where it led us. Right here. And when we dig deeper than here. See, it says distance zero. If we dig deeper, it says distance whatever. And there's nothing here. I don't know. Alright. We are going to... Leave off here for the night, I think. Um... Just because it's been almost three hours. <laughs> it's been probably like an hour of us venturing on this little quest of ours. Um, so we're going to end off here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What I was reading said that there's supposed to be like a building here. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, it's available to uncover a couple of buildings and teleport. I don't think I've been able to teleport once using this thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep looking off stream, dig around, see if it's maybe below ground or something, like it's ruins or something. But we're gonna end it off here. Uh, again, off stream, I'm gonna do a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to go back the way we came and pick up all the stuff that we left behind um, as best I can. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. Um, I'll probably use the waypoints to teleport just so it's quicker. Um, I think I've decided we're going to live, where is it? We're going to live here in the lavender fields that aren't horribly far from the house. I don't know what woods we're going to use. We might use jacaranda and redwood. Uh, we found redwood along the way and then jacaranda is right in the lavender fields. Um, so that should be pretty interesting. It's going to be interesting moving all the way over there, but... We now have pretty much everything we need to go from here as far as getting our shit started in, like, in the dino shit, right? We found a lot of the machines. We found storage disks, which we need to store the DNA on them. We found specifically the machines that we need to turn them from disks of DNA into vials of DNA to be able to actually have um eggs of the dinosaurs and we have a couple other things we've got a bunch of fossils to help make the eggs and stuff in the dna so hopefully next stream will be yeah it was gorgeous it was absolutely gorgeous that's what i think makes me want to live there like i was saying when we found it it doesn't have all those different types of trees which kind of sucks which is sort of why i didn't like it but the more I look at it and the more I think about it, the more I feel like it'd be a beautiful place to live, especially with what we have in mind as far as like a cottage core meets dinosaur experience. You know, we'll have the dinosaurs somewhere nearby and then we'll have our barn and our 
greenhouses and our house and everything. I feel like it's just going to look great there. You know, that's the place to be, I think, for what we're planning. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, next time we will more than likely start getting into the dinosaur stuff. We're definitely going to mine because we need a bunch of mining materials um, to get started on the dinosaur stuff. Next stream, you'll see all of the equipment and everything moved to the lavender fields. I'm going to move that off stream and everything because it's just so far away um, that I don't want to bog you guys down. So I'll move everything to lavender fields off stream. Next stream, you'll see me in the lavender fields. We'll start the house. We'll have a bunch of shit to do. Hopefully, maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we'll even have our first dinosaur egg. I'm not saying that this is, poss this is it's a definite, but it's a, it's a possibility. So at the very least, we'll have specimens to start toward making dinosaur eggs so we'll have a lot to do next stream i feel like this was a pretty good stream even though it was like an hour of just exploring that at least got us to find a lot of different villages which was nice because we found the two geneticist labs so we were able to find the stuff to make the dinos we found the dig sites so that we could get other stuff to help make the dinos um and then also just like the villages are nice for for trading and shit like we can steal the villagers and make our own trading hall um at some point and i feel like there's one somewhat close to the lavender fields i think yeah there's one right here which isn't crazy close but it's close ish and then you can hear me burping and then but that was it. Apparently that was the only one close. Which is fine. Um, stay. Anyway. Yeah. I'm excited for us to move to Lavender Fields. I feel like that's going to be amazing. And I can already picture like the dinosaurs. Probably not in the Lavender Fields. But maybe off over here in the Shrublands. Because the Shrublands, if you remember. Yeah, dinos. Um, if you remember, the Shrublands are literally a whole area with no big trees it's literally just little bushes everywhere not the berry bushes but there are some berry bushes there's like berry bushes around and then there's the single stumps right the single logs with some leaves around it um so that'd be probably the best place to have the dinosaurs just so it's like open land it's easy to terraform and stuff to fit the dinos um but yeah we have a lot going on next stream um next time we stream this as i mentioned earlier briefly I'm going to have at least three separate streams tomorrow, um, essentially like spread out through that throughout the entire day for the most part, or at least throughout the, ha the second half of the day. Um, by the way, I'm in EDT, so Eastern Time in the US, um, if anyone's confused about timing. So we're going to have a hardcore stream from four to six. It's Soul Link is what it's called, or what we're calling it. So. If you haven't heard of that, our souls are literally linked. If one of us dies, we all die, but it's hardcore. So we have to restart entirely. Um, we're going to have that at four. We're going to have it from four to six, and then we're going to have it again at ten. Right. Um, and then in between those is a phasmophobia stream for an hour at nine. Um, all of that is part of my friend's birthday subathon that she's doing. Highly recommend checking her out tomorrow. Scarlet Cloud. Um, we are all going to be playing with her tomorrow. We don't know how long it's going to go, but those are at least the things that we have planned currently. It's going to be very, very fun. I'm excited. I don't sound excited, but I am genuinely excited. It should be really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely go show her some love tomorrow. If you want to, feel free to stop by my stream. Like I said, I will be streaming during those times. Um, but there's nothing special happening with my stream. I'm just supporting. <laughs> I'm the supporting cast. But yeah, that's tomorrow, and our next stream after that should be Tuesday. And who knows, maybe that'll be... That'll be, like, uh, more of this. Maybe we'll make the dinosaurs that day. I'll most likely be there not 100%, though. That's totally fine. You, you make it when you can and when you feel like it. <laughs> that is all I can ask of any of you. Um... But yeah, so big things tomorrow. We're going to try to stream this again Tuesday. If for whatever reason I can't stream it again Tuesday, I will tweet about it. So make sure to follow me at Captain Arby on Twitch. If you are on Twitch, no. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I bumped my webcam. 
Is that better? There we go. Sometimes when I bump the cord for my webcam, it decides to cut out. But uh, yeah, at Captain Arby on Twitter. I keep feeling like there's a hair right here and I don't know. Wah! Shadow! Hello! Oh my gosh! What perfect timing. Say hello to the boy. You can be here for the la for the end of the stream. Do you have anything to say? No, he declines. But yeah, big stuff tomorrow. If I can't stream Tuesday, check out my Twitter and I will say why. Um, and I will say what the plan is if it's good.